The M21 sniper weapon system is the semi-automatic sniper rifle adaptation of the M14 rifle. It is chambered for the 7.62A, 51mm NATO cartridge. Overview The United States Army wanted an accurate sniper rifle during the Vietnam War. The M14 was selected because of its accuracy, reliability, and the ability for a quick follow-up shot. As a result, in 1969, the Rock Island Arsenal converted 1,435 National Match M14S by adding a Leatherwood 3 a Euro 9 adjustable ranging telescope and providing National Match grade ammunition. This version, called the XM21, had a specially selected walnut stock and was first fielded in the second half of 1969. An improved version with a fiberglass stock was designated the M21 in 1975. The M21 remained the Army's primary sniper rifle until 1988, when it was replaced by the M24 sniper weapons system. Some M21s were later reissued and used in the Iraq War. In standard military use, the M21 uses a 20-round box magazine as the other members of the M14 family and weighs 11 pounds without the scope. The U.S. military never officially authorized or purchased magazines in any other capacity, although 5- and 10-round magazines are available. M25 Sniper Weapon System The M25 is an upgraded version of the M21 developed by 10th Special Forces Group's Armorers for use by United States Army Special Forces and United States Navy SEALs in the late 1980s. It saw some use during Operation Desert Storm in January and February 1991. Equals technical specifications equals action AM14 NM action stock a Macmillan M1A fiberglass stock optics a Bausch and Lomb tactical 10A 40 scope or sometimes Leopold MK4 tenor scopes bipod a Harris bipod is often attached for stability during prone firing. Service, the XM-21 sniper weapon system was used by the U.S. Army in the Vietnam War, and the M-21 saw limited action in military conflicts and operations in the late 1960s until the late 1980s. It was used by the U.S. Army Rangers during the invasion of Grenada in 1983. There are limited numbers in some Army National Guard units and in a few specialized active units such as the OPFOR units of the Joint Readiness Training Center. The XM-21 served from 1969 to 1975, and the M-21 officially served as the main Army sniper rifle from 1975 to 1988 until the introduction of the M-24, which had supplanted the M-21 in Ranger battalions by 1990. Though many M-14 and M-21 variants came back to favor in the Iraq and Afghan wars in the 2000s. Equals commercial equals, Springfield Armory, Incorporated also manufactures variants of its M1A rifle called M21 Tactical Rifle and M25 White Feather Tactical Carlos Hathcock Rifle, which are based upon M21 and M25 sniper weapons systems but are slightly different, most notably they are fitted with a Picatinny rail to mount a scope and a Krager barrel. Users, United States, some parts of the U.S. Army still use this weapon. Philippines References External links, M21 Tactical, U.S. Army Field Manual 23 Euro 10, Appendix B, M21 Sniper Weapon System, Lee Emerson's Wear Dock on the M14 and nearly all known variants, Sniper Central's page about the M21, Brief M21 Description and History from the U.S. Army. M21 on globalsecurity.org, M25 at sniperparadise.com. M25 at anysoldier.com